Just because you're good at Monopoly doesn't mean you've got what it takes to buy your first home without any help. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today in part two of our interview with Sandra Rinomato, host of HGTV's Property Virgins, we'll be checking in for a little realty check. What are some things to consider when buying a first home? Well, I think you have to consider where you are in your life right now. So if, for example, you're about to start a family, then it's probably not a good time to buy that one bedroom, open concept, urban funky loft. Conversely, you don't necessarily need that three bedroom family home if you are a single person and you don't have any intention on growing your family right now. What are some things that first time home buyers underestimate when they go to buy a house? Oh, the costs. <laughs> um, they might overestimate what kind of real estate they're going to get and their their uh, perceptions are sort of a little out of whack but definitely the finances are super important I think you absolutely have to figure out what you can afford every month and then don't underestimate the cost of carrying a home it's not just mortgage there are real estate taxes that have to be paid there are utility bills that have to be paid new roof that needs to be put on a fence that needs to be built things like that so make sure you factor in those costs into your budget and ask your realtor for help with that but one thing you shouldn't underestimate is if you are buying a house with a partner, the two of you need to be on the same page. So you need to have open communication and really analyze what is important to you for real estate. You know, how are you going to use the property? And then tailor it to that. How do you decide how much you can afford? This is a great thing to do. So you're thinking about buying a house. So what you should do for one month, and it's really hard to do, but it's so worth it because everybody that's done it has been shocked. For one month, track everything you spend. At the end of the month, you'll have a bunch of data. You'll see what you spent, and then you put your rent in there, your car expenses, everything that's static, that doesn't, doesn't change. You add all that up and you subtract it from your income. Hopefully your income is a bigger number, <laughs> and if it is, you look at that surplus number and you say, okay, this is what I'm prepared to spend on home ownership. Take that number to your mortgage consultant and say, translate that into a mortgage figure. Is that $300,000? Is it $200,000 mortgage? What is it? And then you'll know how much you can afford to spend on a house. You'll know what you can afford monthly, which is far more important than the big number of two or $300,000 or whatever your mortgage amount is. 